small geocache hunt today on this episode of Cache Canada. I'm in Michigan once again for work and this is probably my last week of working for GM Canada in Michigan as I retire soon. That's right, uh, London Westy is going to be free to geocache whenever he pleases. And right now I'm after a geocache that has a really interesting title that has no words, none at all. It's all symbols. Take a look at this. I don't know if I can recreate it here or not. I'm going to have to put a snippet from the cache page. It's really cool. over the pond and across the fence there is a cemetery where I just found a really neat geocache. to be in that rock wall. What do you think? This is a pretty sweet find. If you didn't know any better, if you were looking at it, it would just be another rock in the wall. But check this out. This is pretty cool. It looks like just any other piece of cement or rock. And I had to be careful lifting it. It looks like any other rock in the wall. But look at this. It's got a wooden back and it's got cement built over it and the geocache is underneath. That's pretty sweet. That's a really good geocache, and I want to thank the CEO for putting that one out here in uh, Michigan, near Livonia, where I'm working. And the sad part is it was placed near twin nieces of the CEOs that passed away and are uh, buried nearby. What an interesting cemetery. It's like, I've never seen one like this at all. And what are your thoughts about geocaches in cemeteries? You know, some states don't allow it at all. In some places, they'll maybe only allow it on the edges or in the corners, not in the cemetery. Now, this one was on the edge, but still, it was inside the cemetery. What are your thoughts? Put a comment in the... Co put a comment in the... Things below. Put a comment... Whatever, you know what I mean. Put a comment below. All that carrying on about the cemetery cache, and I walked right past the cache I'm looking for. By 25 meters. Sometimes they're not fancy and they're not hard to find, and sometimes they're just right there. It's not much to look at, but the title was cool. There it is. It's a zip fizz container. Never heard of zip fizz. Hmm. Is this some kind of crystal thing that you do, what kids do? Huh. Anyway, the title was cool. I loved it, and it was a beautiful walk in the park, and that's what geocaching can do, is take you to some amazing places, like the cemetery next door, or just a park and grab that uh, gave me a little uh, trepi trepi trepidation to bend down to actually get the geocache, because it was right near the ground, wired to the fence, and my knees aren't working quite right like they should be anymore. Yeah, anyway, so there we go. We got a geocache and I'm gonna sign me in like everybody says that's what you do, right? Sign the log and check out Dave without ID a geocacher. I think he's from Pennsylvania He signed the log on the previous cache just above me didn't log it online for some reason though But he has tens of thousands. I mean I might be over a hundred thousand I'll put the I'll put the number right here if I can find a, a listing that he has it's amazing that his Daily count is something like 25 to 30, no, I don't know. It's just amazing. I'll do a, an addendum to this if I can think of it. Anyway, so, got the cache, and uh, keep watching. There's more geocaches to find, and where will geocaching take you? Thanks for joining me.
A Quickie in the Woods. What were you thinking when you saw that title? Now, come on. It was a Quickie geocache. Oh, 